Tonight on News Hub Late, thousands of young climate protesters take to the streets following a summer of extreme weather events. Just how wet was it in the north? We break down Niwa's latest climate report with meteorologist Ben Noll. Vanuatu races for another cyclone just days after Cyclone Judy caused widespread destruction. Also tonight, the soaring cost of veggies. Why it may be better to ditch the meal plants. We begin tonight with some developing news. A manhunt is underway in the Auckland suburb of Beach Haven to locate the occupants of a vehicle that fled the scene of a fatal accident. Assault, sorry. Emergency services were called to the intersection of tramway... ...is stuck wondering how long temporary will last. Kepki Masalamani, News Hub. The fluctuating price of fresh produce. What's the advice from growers to shoppers? That's next on News Hub Late. Welcome back to News Hub Late. This was Nelson today where it's currently 20 degrees. Expect some light showers tomorrow with a high of 23. We'll have more weather for you a little later in the show. Vegetable wholesalers say the fresh produce market is the most volatile they've... Days and weeks because right now the land of the free is proving far from it for many. In New York, Mitch McCann, News Hub. Well, footy fever is back with the Highlanders taking on the Crusaders and the Warriors back on home turf. They're playing Newca the Newcastle Knights. New South Sport is coming up next. Discover the thrill of a new Suzuki Swift Sport and New South Sport. Well, the Warriors have opened their season with a victory, finally back on home ground, taking on the Newcastle Knights in the capital. The Knights scored early, but the Warriors hit back with two quick tries before... We are almost done, but don't head off to bed just yet. It's time for our nightcap. And a South Korean company is marketing a pet detection app they hope will eventually replace microchips. Just like humans have fingerprints, every dog and cat has its own unique nose prints. It pinpoints the differences in nose prints using biometrics, making it easier to identify your lost pets. Pretty cute too. Well, that is our show for today, and it's my last show and broadcast with News Hub. After a little over 20 years, I'm taking on a new challenge. I can't tell you how much I've loved being part of this newsroom and what a privilege it's been to work with the most talented and hardworking producers, camera operators, editors, journalists, studio crews, stylists, graphic artists and makeup artists and just all round great humans. It has been a privilege to be on your screens and I will miss it immensely. I'm Ingrid Hipkiss and for the final time, Paul Marier. Ingrid. You did it! Just on behalf of News Hub, we have absolutely adored working with you. We're going to miss you so much, uh, but we wish you all the best for your very next chapter. Thank you, Laura. Mm. We've got some really funny pictures of me coming up now. <laughs> I'm very excited to watch them. <laughs> Laura's been at a wedding all day. What are you doing back at work? A little something. This is a kind of I've changed my mind, I'm staying. I've changed my mind, I'm going to cool. stay. My job here is done. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah.